Okay, well, welcome back. It's been a little bit since I've been doing much of any uh, pouring. I have had um, several things going on, so let's get back to it. Today's pour is going to be for the November Pouring Challenge, um, which is to be one blue, or three, three colors, it's a negative space, uh, a metallic blue, a yellow and purple um, and then you can pick two other colors to go along with that so I'm using uh, Lucas Krill Studio permanent violet as my purple I'm using artist lofts metallic cobalt as my blue and then I'm also using Lucas Krill uh, studio paint the cadmium yellow in addition for my two other colors I'm going to use I'm using um, Artist Loft Metallic, a uh, purple, uh, purple that I've mixed using Artist Loft Metallic Purple and their um, iridescent white. Um, and then I'm using, which this is the, the purple, not the, I don't know what I did with the pearlescent white. This is the purple. Um, yeah, that's what it is. I don't know. Well, I don't see it. Uh, anyway, it's just a, it's, a, it's artist soft into pearlescent white. Um, and then um, artist uh, Lucas Krill Studio Indian Yellow. Um, I have put silicone in each of these colors. And here they are. There's the permanent violet. Here's the cadmium yellow. Here is the um, cobalt blue metallic um, here is the one I mixed up see it's just a lighter a lighter purple and here's the Indian yellow and like I said I just simply added a drop or two of, of um, treadmill silicone um, this right here this brand it's a spot on just my standard paint mix um, so I'm going to do three flip cups and drag. So I'm going to fill my cups. Let's go with the yellow on the bottom of this one. And I'm not going to do them all the same necessarily. If I do, I do. I'm, I, I'm just going to take it a chance. I'm going to add the cobalt blue. Some of the violet, some of the Indian yellow, and there's the lighter purple, and I think I'll add, no, add some, the cobalt blue back on top. This, yeah, I was so thrilled when I found out what the colors, what, what it was, because this metallic blue is my utmost favorite metallic of a shade of blue to use. Um, it just made me, woo, yay! <laughs> and then um, I added this. Uh, I added this Indian yellow because I just, I just love it. It's nice and warm. Um, nice. I don't know. It's, it's not quite orange, but it's, it's cool. As I get my pour cups poured here, I did last month for the as a first time joiner in the pour, um, and I thought it was really fun. Um, so, said so I'd do it again. We're gonna put this. I'm trying to, I'm kind of concerned. I just made brown over here when I got my purples next to the yellows, but we'll see what happens. And I'll put the yellow in. Okay, there we go. There's that one. I'm trying not to get too much paint in here. <laughs> There's a fuzzy there. No matter how much I try, I seem to get flo floaty fuzzies sometimes. They don't seem to get in my paint, thank goodness, but they get stuck to the plastic of the cups. And they're going to have brown here probably too. 
we'll see what colors happened. <laughs> um, I think I told you I added um, silicone to these, like a dropper. So I don't. Some of them might have to in this small amount of paint, which was more than I really wanted. But and they were small drops, though. I tried to make sure of that. This one, I'm gonna have one cup that I have a little more, and I'm doing it on purpose. Here we go. Set these aside, and um, I'll have a negative space of white. This is. Artist Life Titanium White. I just mixed it up in a big cup. <laughs> I was looking at some of the um, videos and, and um, oh, I forget which one. Oh, gosh, I was going to make it remember her name. Maybe it was Megan. Um, it was one of your, one of the regular eight ones that had a quart of black mixed up. And um, I laughed. The only reason I chuckled was because um, of this cobalt blue and I have another blue I like real well um, uh, I have quart size containers made up of it so you know hey <laughs> you like it real well you mix a lot of it okay so this one is gonna go here and it's gonna be the one that I oops actually let's bring it up here tip the thing like this and then these because they're a little less we're gonna flip them by themselves. There we go. And then I'm going to put my neg my white paint and spread it here. Negative space are some of my favorite poor type of paintings to do. Where's my oh, it's underneath everything over here. There we go. Need to move my paint back, the extra paint things here. And I'll pull the picture painting back. There we go. I've been doing some experimenting with other types of mediums. I'll probably have fun with those too, but. This is a 10 by 20, 10 inch by 20 inch canvas. I love doing rec long rectangular canvases. I enjoy square ones too, but rectangular ones are my favorite, especially when I'm doing a flip and drag or a negative space of any kind. I probably have to put a little more paint on here. bubbles in the white. I mixed it today, so. It says, out of my, not, I got some, but it, my pre-mixed white was not, I was ran, had ran out of it. And, um, said I wanted to use Artist Loft with this, for this negative space instead of my house paint. Thought I'd try it again. See how it goes. On. Oh well. Okay. 
And my colors are beginning to come out. That's kind of cool. Tells me they're down to the bottom and ready to go. And at this point, if there's any sex sides and things I missed on the white, I'll touch it up. waste too much of the white paint by wiping it off the spatula. My icing spatula that has now turned into paint spatula. <laughs> My paint spreader. Okay. Let's start with this one because all the paint I can see is down there at the bottom of this one. Let's do this one. Loop de loo and back around and loop de loo into that. And we're going to bring this one down here and around. Here we go. Now, nice cells. Ooh, I really like these colors. Spot here. I'm going to do a little tipping before I torch to try and get some so I don't get dent. I'm going to drag, you know, let's put a little white up here to help. There we go. I may not need a torch. These cells are so pretty already. Let's help the over the edge, just a tad. <laughs> As I have pink coated fingers, which is fine because I got over here to put some white down. And we're going to bring it this way now. Hmm. I need to. Bring in some white because it. There we go. Because that'll help pull it because it had gotten down to when I drug it, it kind of wanted to stick in the can just the canvas. And come on. Come on. Going too fast, going too fast, just patience. That's the biggest thing is I don't want to go too fast. I'm trying to keep some of the cell integrity that is so pretty here right now but I was trying to get it down off the edge over here. There we go. I think it's gone. Maybe. I hear it dripping on the other side, the white paint. There we go. And tip it back a little that way. Watching both ends here trying to watch what's going on up here because I don't want try not to lose too much of this what's going on here so here we go I'm trying to get there's a one spot I'm gonna lose that if I continue that that way it's almost covering okay isn't it yeah, now the next thing I gotta do is see if I can bring it back this way a little. Here, let's turn it and see if you can see some of what I'm doing. Not much, can you? So what I'm trying to do is pull 
now that this got pulled over here on this side, it'll pull it, dra drag it along, and up here, and well, you can't even see the top corner either. Just a second, I'll be back to that way. I'm trying to pull some paint this way. In fact, it's all I'm doing, there we go. It's sort of a dry spot, sort of, which, you know, sometimes happens when you are tilting, <laughs> dragging and tilting and dragging. Just covering up a white, a little bit with the white there. Okay. Now, to torch or not to torch. I think I need to torch in a couple places. Negative space is my favorite place to pay, play. What did I do with my torch? I don't need that much of flame. Also trying to pop some of the bubbles in the white paint because it was very bubbly. <laughs> To do now just make sure my I do I do make my my white paint thinner um, when I do negative spaces um, so sometimes I have to come back along and just make sure the sides have gotten a good cover and the top hasn't when I've tilted poured it all off and so here we go and oh my goodness there's a gnat in the area go away go away don't want you in my painting i actually love this <laughs> thank you for the color suggestion for this month um this is really cool i will uh take you down here and bring you in for some close-ups okay here we go had to turn off with some of the lights because they were glaring so Here's the overall top shot of it. And let's go down over here. Try and get it to focus, there we go. There's that upper corner there. To so come along. There's some down in here that are really, I just, I just love the way the colors have, have muted and blended. Um, I like the green that came out of the, with the yellow and the turquoise, or the cobalt, metallic cobalt, I should say. And then down in here, let's see if I can get you close enough to look at those. Get it to stay focused. There we go. Like down here, look at these. And I like what happened here. Up down there in this corner. And then we're going to go up here with uh, this cup, this the third cup. Come on, focus. There we go. You can see the metallic flex throughout the painting, especially kind of right, right, right in here. I always love the effect that doing that does. So, thank you for watching. And um, if you enjoyed the video, maybe you ought to consider doing the November pouring challenge. Um, there are eight regular artists. Let's see, Debbie Cole. Um, then, uh, and peekaboo or Baker uh, what was that? oh well I'm sorry I can't remember all the artists I need to write that down 
Uh, anyway, look for some uh, the information about the pouring comp uh, challenge, November pouring challenge, in the description of the video below. Just click that little triangle to expand it, and you'll see the more information and, and the other artists. Thank you again for watching, and have a wonderful day wherever you may be at this point in time. Till the next video.